What's Gucci? What's shaking? It's ass cash. It's like a lot, man. You already know what it is, man. Put slides in politics, man. Shotgun shook, man. <laughs> nah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Charlie Clips. Harlem, we in the building. Punchlines and politics. 15 minutes of fame. Mm. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go. What's good, Day? Yo, yeah, what's good? Shit. We about to chop it up. Tell Sunlight I said hi. Yo, they said what's up. Hey, close the, close the cage. So um, let's talk this um blackout thing. Let's talk about that first, because I know you are you about to battle with the Soros on Back to Basics, right? Yeah, hold, hold on real quick. You good? Uh, yeah, there we go. We're good. Oh. Excuse me, man. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Uh, <laughs> I'm sleeping You got it? Oh, well, I'm glad you're up. Hold on, real quick. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, me and, um, me and the store is going down at, uh, at Blackout. I mean, at, at, we're supposed to go down at, um, at Blackout, uh, due to some of the issues and, you know, uh, a serious situation. I wasn't able to make it out there. Mm-hmm. So they um they put the battle back to back to the basics. So that's pretty much the overall situation for that. Mm-hmm. So you already pretty much know what you got for the Soros. You using the same material, or are you about to just rewrite uh, everything? I don't know. I had to I had to rewrite my material because uh, um go ask your mom. Go ask your mom. Go. All right, go ask your mom. I had to pretty much. Re- I right, will go ask your mom. If you can have rice krispies, correct. I'm um, sorry about that, y'all. I pretty much had to rewrite. I had to rewrite my material because uh, a lot of the material that I had it was pretty much set for Canada. Mm-hmm. It was set for the Canada crowd and a lot of people that was on the card that night. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of names for the people that would have been on stage. You know, stuff like that mm-hmm. that pertained to that moment. Mm-hmm. I had to I had to rewrite my overall material for the battle. Mm-hmm. So, as far as what's going on now, because I see you took B dot a little bit serious. Well, not a little bit serious. You took him serious. There was like no antics. Is that a wave that you? Why you look at me like that? Fix your face. So what? Like as far as like you taking battles serious, like you know, with no antics, no you know white sheets, no KKKs and stuff like that. Is that something you're gonna be going with, or are you still gonna roll with the daylight that you just don't know what's gonna happen? I got a I got a big ass spider on my face. Do you think I'm gonna ever take anything serious? So you're not gonna ever take anything serious? I mean, you took a few battles uh, serious. You took a verb serious. Those are, the ones, those are the ones I chose to take serious. Certain battles I still won't take it serious. Like John John for one. I was just about to talk about that. So you wouldn't take John John serious? No, there is no need for me to take John John serious. Why? Because this, this is a man that uses other people's material. That's why. Well, he uses other people's material and you come in costumes. You have a big ass spider on your face. You're going to get mad at him for using somebody else's material? You, using somebody else's material is one of the biggest sins in the name of hip hop. True. So. other people's what about DNA? DNA dresses up more times. DNA has done more antics than I have. Because I know you and DNA were going back and forth on Twitter a while ago. I know it was a little while ago, but would that ever happen? Yeah, it would happen, but the, the fact still remains that DNA would never battle me. And DNA is actually, Dad, DNA is actually one of the battles I take serious. Dad, this, I'm trying to eat. So DNA, wait, so DNA is a battle that you would take serious? DNA is a battle that I would take. I would take DNA extremely serious. And I think DNA knows that. That's why he won't ever battle. So the only thing that's holding y'all battle back is D- DNA saying yes? It's DNA. Over 10 leads has tried to book me in DNA numerous times. DNA also turned down $4,000 to battle me. 
somebody offered them four thousand dollars. They had sent me my deposit already, and it was waiting on him. And mm -hmm. he said no, and he actually said he wanted to battle awkward instead of me. Wait, so why do you think he won't battle you? Because you would take him serious? He's afraid, extremely afraid. That's interesting. Um, speaking of the battles, let me ask you this. Um, you would, I don't know if this was a troll. Were you trolling, talking about battling Lux? As far as like, like do I want to battle him or what? Or is that going to happen? Hmm. It was at a point it was gonna happen as of right now it's not gonna happen ever. Why? There's no need for me to battle luck no more. It's there's other people that I'm worried about in this battle rap world. Like, you know, I'm more worried about people like Mike P and you know, Av and Jerry West and you know, I'm worried about all those people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm not worried about the old niggas with bad knees and, and niggas who dress up and all that shit. I'm more, <laughs> more about these young niggas that actually rap. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm focused on now. I'm not worried about that anymore. Right. Wait, so you more afraid of the rookies? I did see you put a tweet out where you said that the rookies are pretty much changing the game. What do you think that they're doing differently coming in than the vets? Rapping. So what are the old I people? Know. I mean, what are the old people? What are the vets doing then? They're not rapping? Slogans. Slogans. But yeah, you know, like I said, the, the younger the younger cats like they they rapping, man, they rapping without the hype, they rapping without niggas gassing them, they rapping without all that shit. Like they just coming in there rapping. So and you there's a know, chance that you would take them more serious than you would actually take like a John John or a DNA? I would take Mike P. Ab, Team the Demon, Jerry West, Raphael. I would take all them niggas more hmm. serious than I would take Yada Don and DNA. Because the, the fact still remains. The fact still remains. You want to be technical without hype, without publicity, without he got more followers or more views. Av is better than John John. Mm. Do you think all of like, like, really think about it. Really think about it. Like, just think about it. Like, as terms of skill, not height, not popularity, not not veteran status, Av is better than John John. Like, literally, skill-wise, he's better. I would take Av way more serious than I would take John John. Now, if you was to battle Av, now, what's up with you and URL? Is there ever a chance of you coming back on URL? Would you take an Av on the yeah. URL like a rookies versus vets? Uh, I'm actually going. You know, I got some shit in the works with URL. Um, you know, when I even I, I can't even say no shit in the works. We've been talking, me and BZ Chico. We've been talking back and forth, and um, you know, we've been trying to come up with something what we want to do. Man, all right, but <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, uh, yeah, we've been talking. We got, you know, we've been trying to just come up with, you know, what we want to do for this year. Cause you know, at the end of the day, if you want to be technical, you want to be technical. I'm technically a PG. I'm technically a rookie. Mm -hmm. I'm technically a URL rookie. So is that technically and, because you've never no, been? Let me, tell you what, let, me tell you, let me tell you what is the holdup. This is the holdup that's happening in URL right now. I'm telling SmackNow. I don't want to be at the top. I don't want to battle rocks. I don't want to battle none of them niggas. I want to come in as a rookie and battle with the rookies. And they don't want to let me. They want me to battle the bigger name niggas, big T's. And I don't want to battle none of them. I'm a rookie. Y'all said if it ain't URL, it don't count. I never battled on URL. So technically, I'm a rookie. So put me in the rookie class. Right. Them don't want to, they don't want to put me in the rookie class. They said it's not fair. So that's the thing we, that's the altercation we're coming to. Mm -hmm. So I, I tell back and them, I say, do my resume count or do it not count? Y'all got to make up y'all mind. Y'all can't, can't say, yeah, you know, Dave, if it ain't URL, it don't count. But then you tell me, no, nigga, you can't, you can't play in the rookie shit. No, nigga, let me play with the rookie, nigga. <laughs> I'm a rookie. All right. Speaking of the, the whole rookie thing, let me ask you this, because... 
like with B dot for instance are you and B dot mm-hmm. and Danny Myers in some kind of alliance type thing is something going on with y'all because I seen a tweet or I seen a post or something like that where you guys were on a conference or something was in the works is something going on that we should know no there's absolutely nothing why you lying on. you can't look at the camera like that and just okay. lie like that you know, I look like I would lie about anything I can, you know what? Not with that big ass spider on your face. No, you look like you would absolutely tell me the truth. There's absolutely nothing going on. I called Danny to ask him how to make cookies, you know, and B dot had B dot And he just happened to be like, He just happened to be on the B. other B. line. B dot went to school for culinary arts. For those who don't have personal on B dot, that's something y'all can bring up. B dot <laughs> went to school for culinary arts. I was trying to make some cookies. I told Danny, like, yo, could you hit B-Dot for me? I'd have b I number my new phone. So I called Danny on the three-way. I mean, I called Danny. Danny called b I And b like, walked me through how to make the cookies, man. Hmm. Well, let me ask you this since you're asking B Dot about cookies. Did you ask B Dot about Lux? Do you, how do you, what do you think of his style being compared? Do you compare him to Lux? Not one bit. No? I'm going to tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I hate battle rap, and and you know one of the reasons why I hate battle rap is because like you know when one person do something like nobody else can't do that like nobody else can't do that even if like y'all gotta understand what type of person he is like like B dot is a positive person outside of outside of rap like he's not like. You know what I mean? He's not, he's a positive person outside of rap and his moral of being in battle rap is to kick knowledge. So, you know, you can't say like, you can't say, you know, B-Dot is trying to be Lux. If anything, you could say Lux is trying to be B-Dot. Because that's how B-Dot really acts. Lux clearly is a character. The preacher thing was a, a cat. It was a joke. It was a gimmick. It was something Lux tried to act like for the moment. B dot really is that person every day in and outside of battle rap. Hmm. So you know, I don't, I don't know. Like I, re- I can't say he sounds like Lux. He doesn't sound like Lux. He may have like a few hand gestures. But, mm-hmm. you know, like, his his ultimate goal is just to kick knowledge in battle rap. Like, B-Dot is not a punchliner. He's not a bar for bar type of nigga. He's not a schemer. He's a fucking jewel dropper. His goal is to drop jewels in battle rap. That's it. You know, it's like it's like with A-Verb. Like, if a nigga pop up with waves, you're going to automatically start a nigga copying A-Verb. A-Verb ain't the first nigga who had waves. Right. Right. But that's how battle rap do. Battle rap, they find whoever make it, whoever's the big name with it, whoever else do it under the big name, you got. Right. Let me ask well, you. The, no, go ahead. What? What you said? I was saying, I'm telling you this though, like with B dot, like with B dot, like you know, you like niggas got to give him his credit, whether they say he sound like Lux or not, because if you want to be technical. Kobe Bryant played exactly like Very Michael different. Jordan, and he still labeled one of the best to ever do it. Mm-hmm. And he is literally a Michael Jordan clone. He literally stole every move Michael, he even chewed bubble gum like Michael Jordan. So, hey, if you're going to take away B. credit, you got to take away everything Kobe ever did. Kobe's so much of a dick rider of Jordan. Jordan made some high top Jordan. I think they like the Jordan 25s or something. And then Kobe Bryant's shoes came out high top right after that. Like, Kobe, that much of a dick rider, bro. As far as as B-Dot and his career, you see how you said that you don't mind playing with the rookies? Do you think that B-Dot deserves a pass because he doesn't want to go to the PGs? Do you think that he deserves, like, a – he's going for the saga right now. Do you think that he deserves a saga right now, or should he take the rookie role? B-Dot, I told B-Dot – the way your career is looking, you may, you like me in a way, you made a big name for yourself, bro. And, you know, you can hold your ground as a man and don't settle for less if you want to. You know what I mean? Like, you right. can legitimately hold your ground as a man and don't settle for less. You got more views than 95% of the PG niggas. Right. You know what I mean? Your name's bigger than all them niggas. Your name is being talked about amongst all the top niggas right now. So... 
And that's without touching the URL stage. And not only that's without touching the URL stage, that's without touching King of the Dot. This nigga beat out battle in a no-name league. Right. In an absolutely no-name league, and he is making that much of a, a bug. So, you know, I told B Dot, like, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to hold your ground and, and fight for something bigger, do it. If you want, you know, if you want to, you want to, you want to battle the rookies, it's up to B Dot. Like, I don't know how he feels about that. You know? 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go. 15 minutes of fame radio. We're now stepping into 15 minutes of fame radio. 